Well, good evening, everyone. I welcome you to Virginia Union University's new student orientation for graduate studies. We are excited by your presence, presence here tonight, and we are excited uh, that you decided to join Virginia Union family as you navigate and matriculate through your graduate studies of choice. Tonight, we have an exciting group of persons who have joined me who are equally excited by your presence. Allow me the pleasure of introducing myself. My name is Deborah Martin. I have the pleasure of serving as the Assistant Dean of the Sammy DeWitt Proctor School of Theology and also one of the academic leaders for the Graduate Studies Initiative. We're going to go ahead and get started on tonight and shortly um, you will also have the pleasure of viewing a presentation but I wanted to also pause to allow our Dean of Students, Brock Mayers, to bring you greetings. Dean Mayers. Thank you, thank you so much, Dr. Martin. Uh, greetings uh, to all of you as our newest group of proud Virginia Union University Panthers. My name is Brock Mayers and it is my privilege to serve as your Dean of Students. I'm absolutely honored uh, to be amongst the first to officially welcome you uh, to the university and assist you in taking your very first steps towards your limitless future. Today, I will very briefly uh, share some of the resources that are available to you um, through the Student Development and Success Team, or as we commonly refer to around campus SDS. Um, as a student-driven institution, it is the priority of the SDS staff to support the needs of all Virginia Union University students. So think of it like this. If you are the student who's driving, SDS is the seatbelt, the airbag, and the navigation system. We're here, primed and ready to assist you in realizing your great promise. The offices that make up the SDS team are student engagement, student experience, workforce development and training, and counseling services. Um, briefly, um, we are looking forward to um, providing services in all of those areas. Um, but again, um, we're extremely excited to partner with each of you as you work through your respective degree programs. And uh, please continue to stay safe and healthy as we follow COVID-19 mitigation practices. And know that while we may be physically distanced, our virtual doors remain open to meet your needs. Uh, feel free to reach out to me or the team for support. I can be reached at B as in boy, M-A-Y-E-R-S at V-U-U dot E-D-U or on Instagram at Dean Mayers underscore V-U-U. Let's get to work. Thank you, Dr. Martin. Thank you, Dean Mayers. Before you leave, do you mind putting that information in the chat uh, for our listeners? Absolutely. Thank you I'll so actually much. try to put everyone's information in the chat room. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Well, you've heard from our Dean of Students, and I just also want to take this opportunity to also introduce you to our other panelists for tonight. Joining us, first of all, is our Graduate Studies Support Team. We have Ms. Karee Jackson, who is the Graduate Student Engagement Coordinator. We also have joining us on tonight, Ms. Cheryl Smith, who is our graduate program associate. She also in that role provides academic support. Many of you have heard of her name, talked to her, received the email, but tonight you will uh, see face-to-face Ms. Malika Simpson. She is the director of graduate admissions. We are also joined with us by the registrar for Virginia Union University, Ms. Erica Jackson, and and we have um, Assistant Vice President Keisha Pope, who oversees enrollment management. The little BUU square is Wes Hayden, who provides communications for academic affairs and is providing technical support on the night. And so there you have a um, wonderful team of individuals who are prepared and ready to provide services for you. And so tonight, we just wanted to also take an opportunity to talk to you about graduate studies at Virginia Union University. Um, we have for since 1941 have had the pleasure 
of offering a graduate programs here on the campus of Virginia Union University. And so Virginia Union, although some of you have entered into a new program, providing graduate education is not a new phenomenon for us. We started off with a master's in divinity program and then also added our master's of a Christian education and our doctor of ministry program. Following close behind, we added our Master of Arts and Curriculum Instructions, and we are excited to announce our brand new programs. Eight of them have joined us for this spring start. Many of you have chosen to become a part of those new cohorts, and we are excited about the wonderful things that are going to happen through those new programs. Here at Virginia University, you will find that we are a family, and we believe not only can we impact your lives through professional, innovative research and training, but we also believe that you can impact Virginia Union University. And so again, we are excited about the fact that you've decided to join us. We'll, let's get started, Karee, with introducing some of our student services. Um, I'm going to pass along to, I'm sorry, Karee Jackson, who again is our uh, graduate student engagement coordinator. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. Hello, uh, my name is Ms. Karee Jackson, and it is a pleasure to um, be here tonight and to be talking with you. I am going to attempt to pull up our presentation. If you just give me one moment. Let's see. Now we're gonna need some technical support from Mr. West, if you can uh, allow me to share my presentation. Mr. Hayden was having some internet issues. So we're gonna go ahead and if we can just um, have uh, AVB Pope, if you mind presenting on financial aid, and then after which we can go ahead and have Ms. Erica Jackson present on behalf of the Office of Registrar. So sorry about that. Uh, Curry Jackson should now have the ability to- Oh, thank you. thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Can everyone see that? Okay, so we're gonna jump ahead. Okay, I'm not too far ahead. Okay, so we're gonna start with um, Ms. Um, Pope, if you wanna give us a a little bit of insight about the Office of Financial Aid. We would greatly appreciate that. Sorry, I had to turn my fan off so you all don't hear it blowing. It's a little warm in my office uh, today. Um, good evening, everyone. Again, welcome. Um, I am excited to have you all as New Panthers. So um, I am currently um, the AVP of Enrollment Management. However, in my former and still somewhat current life, I um, was the financial aid director here. So today I am here representing the Office of Financial Aid. Um, I wanted to give you some information about the services that we provide in the Office's Office of Financial Aid. Of course, we are there to assist and navigate students through the financial aid application process. So if a student needs assistance with completing their FAFSA, we are there to help. We award students financial aid. Um, we also award scholarships as well. We provide financial aid loan counseling to our students, and then we prepare various financial aid reports and information um, that's needed to various government entities. Uh, one thing that I wanted to make sure that I kind of tried to delineate between financial aid and student accounts, because um, it's often confusing to figure out who's responsible for what in the um, financial area. Financial aid is responsible for awarding and dispersing your funds to your student account, meaning we transmit the funds to the business office for them to apply credits to your account. Student accounts is responsible for processing any refunds that are generated as a result of those funds being credited. So just kind of help you navigate if you have any questions where you should direct them. 
if it is a question about your financial aid application, your awards, or the funds being credited to your student account, that is financial aid. And if it's a question about when you're going to receive a refund or a credit balance that's on your account, that is student accounts. So just kind of wanted to give you um, a little information to help you navigate better with those questions. Um, also, um, our office is there if you need assistance when it comes to loan repayments after you graduate. We um, do loan counseling to help you figure out what options are best for you. So there's a wealth of services that we offer within the financial aid um, department. You'll see our contact information there. You can contact us at either finaid at vuu.edu or our office number is 804-257-5882. Um, again, welcome and we are excited to have you all as panelists. Ms. Jackson. Good evening, everyone, and welcome again um, to Virginia Union University. Um, I'm, I am the University Registrar for Union, and I just want to welcome you all and just give you some little information about the Registrar's Office and how we're able to assist you with your enrollment and registration and eventually graduation process. Um, so the, the Office of the Registrar is committed to ensuring the integrity of our university's academic records. And so we are here to serve our students, our faculty, staff, and alumni. For our graduate students, we have um, Stanley Lomax, who will serve as your point of contact or liaison when you have an issue concerning registration or you have a question about course scheduling, um, or if you are transferring in any courses, we will do that in the Office of the Registrar in conjunction with your Dean or Program Chair to make sure they align with your curriculum. Um, you can, my contact information is there um, on the slide as well, but you can also reach us at the Registrar, the number two, at vu.edu, and we will be sure to communicate with everyone as a new student, um, Mr. Lomax's information as well probably following this call, this um, Zoom call, we'll get that to you. So that way you have his information um, in case you have any questions concerning um, the registrar's office. But we are here to serve your needs in regards to registration and enrollment. And we are, hopefully we'll, once we get back out of this pandemic, we'll be able to start seeing these faces. Um, you'll be able to come to the office and, and meet us in person as well. So thank you again. Thank you. Okay, so moving on to the L. Douglas Wilder Library. Um, so what I wanna just pull out some key points um, is how to access the general collection of books. Um, so currently we have, the library is um, close to the public, but it's open to our students to use our com the computer lab as well as um, um, checking out books. So. Uh, accessing the general collection. Um, to be able to access the, the um, general collection of books for, for students who are on campus, um, which I'm not sure if we have any students um, on the call that will be living on campus, but if you are, you can um, come into um, the circulation desk, which is the main um, desk at the, when you, first enter the library, you will um, give your student ID to that um, to that person and they will go and get the books for you and you can check out directly at the desk. If you are calling um, from any location and you want to come pick up um, a book that you want to check out or a book that you want to, books that you want to um, use to research, you will just call um, the circulation desk and um, give them the information and they will go and get those um, books for you. And then you can um, come and check those books out. Again, you will need your student ID and we'll talk a little later on how to get that um, ID. Um, because you definitely need to have your ID coming on campus or um, any other um, access to the campus. So as far as the group study rooms, our um, graduate corrals, they are currently um, unavailable right now due to the pandemic. Um, so what, but once they open up, um, once we're post pandemic and we're able to, to gather in cl close quarters, 
those um, corrals will be available for our graduate students um, to study in and to work in small groups. Um, the last part that I want to mention about the library is um, accessing the archives. So when it comes to doing thorough research and when it comes to like pulling records, the person to contact is Ms. Salacia Allen. Um, and I've put her contact information down in, in this um, presentation so that you can contact her um, and have her pull records. Um, I don't believe that you can um, take those off of the premises, but what you would want to do is um, get in contact with her, set up an appointment with her and um, she will pull those records for you and you could possibly make copies of them while on the campus. Um, if you have any other, um, questions, you can feel free to give me a call. I'll put my information in um, the, the chat room. Um, and just a last note about um, the library. Um, it is currently closed to the public, like I said before, but and, and um, for students um, and for faculty and staff who um, want to come in, you just want to call and make an appointment. And um, that number will be be provided for you um, as a resource um, on our resource sheet once we send it out after our meeting today. For the University Bookstore, the University Bookstore is the central location for all of your study needs, your textbooks, your writing instruments, and even a couple of snacks if you if you want to get you through the through those hard difficult study breaks but um and also the bookstore is located um adjacent well kind of um, diagonally adjacent to the library um it is um right off as you're walking into the library it's right off to the um, left hand side of the light of the library and the bookstore is responsible for mailing out your um textbooks and if you need, if you have any questions about receiving your textbooks, um, you would want to call me if you have any issues um, concerning the distribution of your textbooks, just contact me and my information is provided on this slide. And again, my information will be provided um, in the chat and you'll get to know me very well. Um, if you need anything, we are here for you. Um, the last point that I want to know about the bookstore is that the hours have changed a little bit um, due to um, where we are currently. Um, and the hours are from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And that's Monday through Thursday for the academic school year. Okay. Moving on to the campus police, um, the Virginia Union University Police Department embraces the principles of collaboration and community community policing with the academic uh, with academic administrative and urban organizations through protection of life and property, crime and fire prevention, and parking and traffic system safety. The VU Police Department stands ready to serve the needs of the university community. If you need any assistance please contact this number or them at this number, which is 804-257-5777. And again, one um, added note that once campus is open up and you can come back, come and visit on the campus, the police department is where you want to get your student ID made. And so you'll make an appointment with the um, secretary in the office and you'll go there to get your student ID made, okay? And last but not least, um, the Office of Inclusive Learning. Um, this office is available for students who um, may need accommodations for um, to make sure that they um, are best equipped for success here at the university. So if you have um, an IEP or you um, have um, any issues that, that you may want to address with um, with the learning services that will allow you to have accommodations so that you perform at your best, um, this um, service is provided. Um, so the person that you would want to speak to about that would be Ms. Kimberly Johnson, who is the Assistant Dean of the University Colleges. Um, her number is 804-318-4107 and her email address is kn 
johnson1 at bu.edu. Again, if you have any issues with um, accommodations or you want to speak to her about um, making sure that you are uh, getting the, the information that you need from your professors, this is the place that you want to go, okay? So now I'm gonna pass it over to Ms. Cheryl Smith and she will take it from here. Before we do that, Cree, uh, before Cheryl comes, thank you so much for Cree for facilitating that portion. I do want to take the time to invite persons, participants, if they have any questions, you can feel free to use the Q&A chat um, and the chat room to lift up any questions you may have about anything, information that's being shared. And we will certainly at the end of our presentation answer any of those questions for you. Ms. Cheryl. Good evening and welcome to Virginia Union University. I am Cheryl Holland Smith and I currently serve as the graduate program support. I'm here to help you, um, help guide you through your graduate program studies with the registration process, connecting with your advisor or any other assistance that you may need along your journey here at Virginia Union University. Um, I'm just here to serve and before we get into the two videos we want to show you. I want to give you my email and contact number, which will be placed in the chat as well. And again, it's Cheryl with an S, Cheryl, S-H-E-R-Y-L Smith at buu.edu. Again, I'm sorry, my email is shsmith at buu.edu. And my contact number is 804-354-5923. So we now have two brief videos that we'd like for you to view that will be extremely helpful um, with your journey here as far as the course registration, how to register for your class, as well as how to navigate through the MyBU portal. So now let's take a look at these two videos. These links will be given to you as well through an email. So now we're going to take a look at the one on how to navigate. I believe Is that Once navigate. You log into my VUU using your credentials. You will then have access to the my VUU homepage. And on the homepage, you'll see several different links, such as the welcome section or the navigation panel, where it actually displays your MyVU homepage, where you can find Sounds like we're running into a little technical difficulty. There it goes. Have access to your quick links, which basically provides you with access to like your bookstore link, um, links to my VU help, as well as your VU email account. In addition, you will see the latest updates, oftentimes if they're updates, um, such as the coronavirus information, you'll be able to find all of these data points here on the latest information or latest update. In addition, you will find important forms. So if you need to change your address, or if you need to, or if you would like to change your major or your minor, here are different important forms that you can fill out in order to uh, make a request for a change. In addition, you will also notice the registration and advisement. So if you like to add or drop a course, this is basically where you can add or register for courses as well as withdraw or drop courses. Um, so here you will also find different pieces of information such as the academic calendar. You will also find information on how to set up your email and 365 um, applications on your devices as well as different important bookmarks like your registering your motor vehicle and getting a campus parking permit, um, a greeting video from Dr. Lucas. So there are different pieces of information, important vital information on this main MyBUU main homepage. So this is how you access it. And this, these are all the different data points that you will have access to as a student. 
to be able to make changes, to be able to find additional information, as well as to register for your classes. We do realize that um, the volume was going up and down on that particular video, but we just want to remind you that um, the videos and other resources will be sent to you after this meeting. And so don't you fear, you'll have all the resources, all the videos, all the training opportunities you need in order to be successful. But I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to Ms. Cheryl Smith as she continues navigating us through the virtual world. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Dr. Martin. The next um, video will be on how to do your course registration. And it's a simple process and all of this is obtained through the MyBUU portal under um, your VUU uh, credentials. So Ms. Karee, are we ready for that one? How to register. And as this one is loading, I am always available to assist you with the registration process as well. So have no fear, I am here. Thank you, Karee. advising meetings with your advisor, to view your grades as well as your transcripts, the first step is logging into MyBUU. Once you log into MyBUU, you will then once again see the MyBUU homepage. And on the homepage at the very top, you'll see several different page links. And here you want to click on the student option. And when you click on the student option under the student homepage, you will see information on advisor meetings that may have been scheduled by your advisor. You'll see the start and end date for those meetings. In addition, you'll see learning tools where you can view um, your textbook rentals, um, as well as information about other course materials. In addition, you'll see the grade report. So if you wanted to view your grade report for your final grade, as well as your midterm grade, you would click on these two options, um, depending on your preference, as well as your degree progress. If you, once you begin um, matriculating through your, your student progress within your programs, and as you complete courses, you'll actually see your degree progress under this particular section. As well as your unofficial transcript, you can view that as well. And if you needed to request a transcript, there is a link to request your official transcript upon completion of your degree program. Then in addition, if you look on the left-hand side under the student navigation panel, you can click on your course information. So if you wanted more information about your courses, such as if you wanted to add a dropper class, you can also find information here where you can add a dropper class. Um, in addition, you can view your student schedule. So if you wanted to see your 2020-21 academic schedule, you'll be able to see that under the student schedule section. In addition, if you wanted to look at your course history to see what classes you have completed, what classes you need to take, this typically will kind of give you a guide to viewing your history of courses that you've taken, as well as to be able to gauge what courses you potentially may need to take going forward. In addition, you can also see your GPA projection. Um, in addition, you can see your bookstore information for different classes. So if there's a textbook assigned to a class, you'll be able to see all of those textbooks listed here, as well as if you wanted to explore other majors. Um, here is a what if scenario um, based on the different courses or programs that you are interested in to be able to view more information about it. Um, in addition, if you wanted to um, add or drop a course, if you click on the add or drop course option, 
There is an additional video that provides more information on adding or dropping courses. But the key component is if you have a, an account hold on your account where you're not able to register for classes, typically that may prevent you from being able to um, add more classes or withdraw from courses. So in order to um, address that, when you click the plus option, it provides you with more information and resources of who you would need to contact and which department um, are impacted by this hold. So here you have more information on viewing your advising meetings and options, as well as your course schedule, your grades, as well as your transcript. Again, everyone, thank you um, for taking your time to um, view these slides. Um, we want to remind you again, we will send you the links for all of these videos to help you um, with your navigating through the MyBU portal, as well as registering for your courses. And like I said earlier, have no fear. I'm here to assist you with the registration process. My email, again, is shsmith at buu.edu. And my phone number is 804-354-5923. And thank you, and I look forward to meeting you face to face. I may have spoken to some of you already, but it's nothing like putting a name to the face. And welcome to Virginia Union University. Thank you, Cheryl, so much. I want to, first of all, thank each of our panelists for joining us on tonight and providing great information to you um, as you get started on your journey through graduate studies at Virginia Union University. Just to update you on some matters related to how to get on to my VUU, uh, please note that your VUU email account and your my VUU credentials have been sent to you through your personal email, the email address provided on on your admission application. If by chance you did not receive that email, please make sure that you reach out to us so we can ensure that you receive everything that you need. Again, that information was sent to you on today. Well, this is a great time to pause to answer any questions that you may have. Um, again, if you have questions, we are here to provide some answers for you. And so feel free to use our Q&A function that's on the bottom of your screen and also enter questions within the chat room um, so that we may ask one of our panelists to assist you through any questions questions that you may have on tonight. As you are considering your questions and entering them into the chat room and Q&A function, I just want to give a quick overview of what will occur on tomorrow night. Tomorrow, Friday at six o'clock, you will have your school group session with your dean and faculty members. And so those links will be sent to you on tomorrow so that you may go into the group session through Microsoft Team to hear more about your particular program of choice um, by talking and having conversations with the dean and and faculty members. We believe it's going to be a great time and it will be a time of providing wonderful information to you in order for you to have the tools you need to get started on next week. Well, I'm looking through the Q&A in our chat and I don't see any uh, questions, but I just wanted to make sure that there were um, any lasting comments or anything um, that persons wanted to lift up before we concluded on tonight's session. Panelists, do you have any lasting comments or offering any additional information before we conclude? Um, yes, I do. Um, on behalf of graduate admissions, I just want to remind um, all of you, if you still have supporting documents you need to provide, that you will provide them directly to me. Um, you should have my email, but just in case you don't, it is mjsimpson at vuu.edu. You can also contact me directly at 804-342-6535, and I'll put that information in the chat. And welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I do want, oh, we, 
Thank you. We have a comment from Darren Seals. Thank you so much, sir, for being here. I also wanted to um, make note that we have our awesome um, provost who is here with us tonight um, supporting. You've heard from him through the chat, Dr. Terrell Strayhorn. I want to thank him for his presence on tonight and his continued support. I believe we have some questions. Are VU clothing available? Mr. Lewis, yes, they are. Um, through the bookstore, you are able to obtain your VU paraphernalia, and that will be part of your resource information we provided. You also can visit the VU bookstore through our website. If you have not had the opportunity to navigate through our website, I invite you to do so. There's a lot of wonderful information on the website um, about VU bookstore, about the library, academic affairs, about our growth graduate program. And so if you haven't had time, please visit our website. Um, Mr. Ronald Dingle, she, uh, he wanted to just uh, lift up a shout out to Ms. Simpson uh, for the wonderful job that uh, she did and was quite helpful. We are so appreciative of all of our graduate support team and particularly Ms. Simpson for helping each and every one of you through the process. And so, yes, I echo that sentiment, Mr. Dingle. We are appreciative of Ms. Simpson. Thank I just you. wanted to make sure that I haven't lost any other additional questions or comments. Thank you, Mr. Mayors, for listing, um, listing the link to the bookstore. Thank you. Any other questions that you may have for us tonight? Well, again, we thank you so much um, for being with us. We thank you so much for joining us. We thank you so much for joining us on tonight. We thank you for being part of our graduate studies, new student orientation. We are so excited about your journey with us at Virginia University. We look forward to talking with you individually. We look forward to getting to know each and every one of you. And we look forward to walking with you through this journey. Tomorrow, we are excited about the continuation of part two, session two of this new student orientation. In the meantime, if there's anything that we can do for you, please reach out and contact any of us uh, that you heard from tonight. I will also lift my information in the chat so you can have that as well. Until then, please be safe. Yes, um, yes. Dr. Carter is asking me to invite her in, so she may want to make a comment. Most, most sure. definitely. Oh, so I'm, I'm sending her the invite now. So I didn't want you to get off just yet. Okay, well, we most definitely will pause uh, for Dr. Aaliyah Carter, who is our COO. And so we want to most definitely, if she wanted the opportunity uh, to join us on tonight, I think it would be great for you to get the opportunity to meet her. And so I wish I had some wonderful music to play for you at this time, but we're going to, instead of the music, I'm going to pause and see if there are any other uh, questions uh, for us, the panelists on tonight. Any other additional questions? Any other questions? I see no other questions. That means we have covered everything that we need to cover. Great job, team. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate um, the participants and join us tonight. Don't worry, this session has been recorded. And so if you wanted to go back and view anything that you heard on tonight, we will also be sending you to the link of this session. Your session tomorrow with your prospective school will also be recorded. And so we will send those links to you after um, tomorrow evening session. And so you can view those sessions at your leisure. I'm not really sure if Dr. Carter was able to join us on tonight, um, but I will most definitely make the space and opportunity for you to meet um, our CEO who has been very supportive and is equally excited about the work that you're going to do with us at Virginia Union University. As I stated earlier, um, 
for each of you, thank you so much for choosing VUU. We are excited and we cannot wait to see the impact, the footprint that you are going to have on the legacy Virginia Union University. Thank you, God bless you. We look forward to seeing you on tomorrow. Good night. Good night.